Pune, one of India's silicon cities, an unlikely home for biogas development, a fuel usually linked to cow dung and rural energy supply. But one man's vision is turning conventional wisdom upside down and proving biogas may yet be an option for the city dweller. Dr. Carve of the Appropriate Rural Technology Institute, RT, has developed a revolutionary approach to generating methane. The new method is more efficient than the traditional one, and it doesn't need dung. Our system is 400 times as efficient as the dung-based biogas plant. And because of that, we could reduce the size. This is like any normal biogas plant, where you have a fermenter here and a gas holder here. Now, this thing contains the feedstock along with water and as it ferments and produces methane, this cap is raised and this is the point where you take out the gas and as you utilize the gas, the cap goes down again. And uh, you can see the effluent that's coming out because the material we are using here is totally digestible by the bacteria. The effluent is very watery, it has no no solids in it. So the next day's feedstock, we just mix it in that and it's poured back. Dung is not the food of the bacteria. The bacteria live in the guts of animals. They eat what the animals eat and they are only thrown out of the body along with the dung. We started out experimenting with biogas plants into which we fed sugar instead of dung. And we found that with about one kilogram of sugar, you could get as much biogas as from 40 kilograms of dung, and that also within about 24 hours. Pure sugar is an expensive fuel, but luckily the bacteria are happy with leftover food. As long as you are using a complex thing like leftover food, it is a complete food, you know, it contains all the minerals and uh, vitamins and whatever the bacteria need. Arti's biogas plants are springing up all over the city, putting bacteria to work. The methanogenic bacteria evolved when the atmosphere of the earth consisted of methane, carbon dioxide and ammonia. Then green plants evolved and started producing oxygen. And oxygen was the pollutant for these bacteria. So they had to run away and find places where they can survive without oxygen. So now, today we find the methanogenic bacteria in the guts of all animals. This household has expanded their system to two interconnected tanks, allowing them to use biogas as their main energy source. I only use the LPG for heating bath water now. I cook all our meals using just biogas. Mohan Karte collects leftover food from their neighbours, banana peel, onion skins, even old garlands of flowers, all get fed to the bacteria in his rooftop biogas tank, providing the perfect solution for organic city waste, which is just left to rot as landfill space is limited. The leftovers have to be left to ferment for a few days or mashed to a pulp before being put into the digester as the bacteria are used to eating food that's already been chewed. Mix it by hand, because it is not harmful. With a limited amount of space, this biogas tank is on the roof. Uh, we are sorry, we have no steps. I just climb up this way. Mr. Carte and his family have been quick to pick up on the benefits of the new system. Cow dung is also useful, but their effluent is thick and uh, slurry. It is a slurry. In this case, it's like Coca-Cola syrup, which is uh, watery. We use that uh, effluent as a fertilizer to this plant. This year, we got much more better result than the last year. Even this apartment block is home to a biogas user. He's turned the roof into an oasis of green, using just the waste from the gas plant as fertilizer. This has come in the last week. This was not there. In all uh, tips you can see, the tips, uh, you can see that red tip there, new leaves. One day it becomes full. In about 24 hours, it will uh, go and touch if we don't use at all. 
but continuously we are using. There's one other advantage to not using the dung that does appeal to city dwellers. Now we are, we are standing here just three, four feet away from this plant, but we don't have any odor problem. Do you smell anything? No. So it is useful.